I was just kind of uh, heading home and doing some errands and and I saw all these electrical uh, this facility over here I thought it'd be interesting to take a closer look and uh, kind of stumbled into uh, this dog park right here uh, Ore off leash dog park so I don't think I'm gonna get too close to some dogs but it looked like a cool place to just kind of walk around and check out so let's uh, let's see what it looks like around here a new place can hear the buzzing from all these electrical towers in here just huge I know they're needed but goodness gracious what a monstrosity so hoping to get closer and be able to see in there but quite a large wall Take a little walk through the desert here. weird off limits but right there if I'm not mistaken that is a that's one of those uh, frisbee golf baskets kind of a strange place inside a prohibited place a little walk through right here what a strange area Go ahead and walk through here and see if we can't get sighted. You can really hear the buzzing of that electrical facility. There's some volcano rocks up here. Kind of interesting. I don't know what this is. Check this out. It's like a sign, but a sculpture of a snake, I guess. A rattlesnake. Maybe they're saying there's rattlesnakes in here, which I'm sure there is. It's kind of weird formation over there of tree stumps. There's a car out there in the middle of the field. You kind of wonder what's going on there. And here is some artificial turf for some reason. Part of an old uh, Frisbee golf course or something, maybe from many years ago. You can see where they used the lava rocks. Put them in some large chicken wire to help uh, cut down the flooding. Really strange. Oh yeah, right here. Number two professional player tee, par three, 310 feet. I'll be darned. Old Frisbee golf course. Looks like it can still be used. Not broken or anything.
it is really quite chilly out here. Sun shining, but quite chilly. Now that definitely is a snake hole right there, probably a rattlesnake. But um, I don't know if you can see it from the shadows, but it's just too darn cold for them. Don't have to worry about them in the cold weather for the most part. They're kind of a hibernating of sorts. Like the remnants of a sign that was there at one time. It's just a hanger just sitting there. I don't know if you can see these guys, but there's a ton of pigeons up on this very high wire. Zoom in a little bit, but it gets a little blurry and shaky. Those guys are way up there. The car here and just take a little trip back on this dirt road just to see what it looks like in the back part here. It's going to be nice and bouncy. Go take a look over here. Oh, it looks like a running ground. Like a uh, training or competition for dogs. You know, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. Seen them on TV all the time. But uh, never seen any one of these uh, courses. Of course, it doesn't have very many, but uh, there's quite a few. You can, the dog would jump over that. And those blue spikes there go in and out. I've seen that. Jump through the tube, up the little ramp and down. little shade there pretty cool I wish there were some dogs out here run the course right now oh <laughs> he's cute oh my gosh you're so cute he's talking to you you, He's very friendly. Hi. Oh, you are so cute. I was taking some pictures because I've never seen one of these courses in person. Oh, okay. I've always just seen it on TV, so yeah. I thought I would just take a quick little video, and I was shooting this monstrosity of electrical wires, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh... He'll, uh, if I have treats with me, which I don't bring unless I know there's not going to be other dogs. Right. Um, he'll jump that lower, the lower bar. Uh-huh. He goes up the A-frame and through the tunnel. He'll do the sit-stay. Oh, but really? he's not a treat-motivated dog, so it's been hard to teach him. He just will do it if he wants to, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh, sure. It's nice to see you. What is your name? He's Bruno. Bruno? You're a good dog. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Take He's care. He's a puppy mill rescue. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. And, um, and we have some larger dogs that come over here because they like their older dogs and can't handle the puppies yeah. on the other side. Right. So we let them bring their dogs over because they're pretty good with them. You can do it, Bruno. Well, that was a pretty nice little excursion. Usually works out pretty good. Sometimes you take a road that you haven't taken before and it leads you to something boring. Sometimes it leads you to something interesting and sometimes very interesting. But that was interesting. I know now know where that area is and what this road leads to. Almost got stuck in the sand there a couple times. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself. Bye now. <laughs>